Whoa. Oh, there. Nope. Nope. There. Oh, there we go. Hey, there I am. Kind of mush it all around. We're marinating. That's what we're doing. We're marinating. He told me to soak the wood too late, quite frankly. The last time I cooked steaks on the grill, I caught the grill on fire. Well, we're going to do steaks tonight on the fire steaks. I just got them out of the freezer. I bought these a while ago. They were on sale really cheap, like two months ago. Believe it or not, they were. We bought a couple packages of them and I packaged them in twos and put them in the freezer in the garage outside. So we're going to cook these on the open fire, our fire pit tonight. That's, that's the plan. In fact, my husband said he is going to cook them because the last time I cooked steaks on the grill, I caught the grill on fire. I did that. What I like to add to this, garlic, and I'm going to let, maybe, oh, there we go. I don't have much left in here. It's mostly just juice. I do have another can of this, but I'm going to just start, I got a spoonful of garlic and I'm just going to put it in the bag because as this thaws, in fact, I'll just dump the juice in there. As this thaws out, I'll just kind of mush it all around. We're marinating. That's what we're doing. We're marinating. Let me get my other can of garlic. Got it. And this is just eat. I've already been into this one. This is just easier. So I'm gonna add like another spoonful of garlic in here too, but I'll put it like on the other side. So now I got garlic in my bag. I can gush around. Just gush it around. That's what I do. Okay, then you guys know I like musket powder, musket powder. This is like my fave. In fact, I'll have a link in the description. And guess what? I'm sponsored by musket powder now. So use code Michelle to get 10% off your musket powder. I love this stuff. In fact, look, I'm almost low. I'm almost out. Time to get time to get me some more. In fact, this time I'm gonna get the red label too. Because that's supposed to be a little spicier and I would like to try it. But I just dump, shake, see, shake, musket powder in here. And it smells really good. That was probably 20 shakes. That's how I measure. See, then I got a bag full of musket powder and garlic. And I'm going to add just look, like a half a cup of water to this so it could marinate around. So hold on, let me go add my water. All right, got the water in there. So it's like that. Now we're going to be outside. So I'm going to set these outside because it's a warm day. And they can thaw and marinate while we work on the dog fence. That's all that I do. That's all I do. And these will be really good on the fire. But I've got the steaks over here. They're thawed pretty nicely. I'm going to move them away from the fire. I might take them back to the house. Uh, they're still a little frozen. Set them over here on the air conditioner. In the shade. But that's working out nicely. Oh, now I've got evidently the bag's leaking. Hold on. Fire. Got the fire going. In the fire ring. I've got my potatoes over here cooking which I put in these butter and, oh, that's hot, some chives. I had some chives from the garden growing that I stuck in there. So we're gonna let that cook down a little bit more, well, quite a bit more. And then my husband has some cherry wood in the garage that we're gonna add to this. So this is how to cook a steak on a fire. Probably not by me. We'll see. Now, when I do baked potatoes in foil like this, I'll cook them in the microwave until they're like halfway done. Then I'll put them out here to make sure that they get all the way done because I've had that happen before when the potatoes were not all the way done. So make sure I pre-cook just a little bit. But today, beautiful day, beautiful day in Ohio. I'm out with the garden. The garden's looking good. My tomato plants, I swear, shot up like an inch overnight. I know they did. And we are also, let me turn you around. See the whiny dog right there? That is now tangled up around everything. Well, whiny dog went after the neighbor the other day. Yesterday, actually, so didn't hurt the neighbor or anything and the dog has never done anything like that before she did not like the other neighbor at all he was a mean man so i'm thinking she thinks it's him i don't know can you hear the noise in the background we are now installing a 
an electric fence all the way around the property. Got that from Amazon, Amazon Prime, and they delivered it right away. Right away. Like the next day, I ordered it in the e in the late morning. Yeah, in the late morning, and it was here the next day. So it's getting installed today. Other than that, we're having baked potato and steak. We're not having vegetables because we're going with what we have. I wonder if I have baked beans. I'll have to go look. But anyway, we're working with what we have in the house because I haven't been to the grocery store in weeks. Pretty much weeks. All right, so it's a couple hours later. The grandkids were over and they helped me throw wood in the fire. And we have this cherry wood here that my husband told me to get wet because we forgot to soak it. And I, he told me that the reason that you soak the wood is because you want it to smoke. So I didn't soak the wood, but I've been like spraying the hose on, I don't know. He told me to soak the wood too late, quite frankly. So we got it wet with the hose. So we're gonna put this wood in here. I think I'm gonna go that way with it. Yeah, we'll do that. You guys didn't know I could cook on a fire, did you? Nope. Well, probably Rob's gonna cook. But the potatoes are doing well. I've been rotating them around. And I'm not gonna put them in the fire. Up on this grate is good enough. We got some smoke happening. All right, I'm gonna go get the steaks. They've been marinating all day. And garlic, ain't, let me get out the sun. My goodness. Turn this way. Woo, whoa, oh, there, nope, nope, there, oh, there we go. Hey, there I am. They've been marinating all day in garlic and musket powder. And I put a little more musket powder on there because I like it. The cherry wood is in and it's burned down quite a bit. And the husband has the steaks. I think we're safer if he cooks these. Oh, we'll be okay. Um, okay. I said I think we're safer if you cook. I'm not sure what kind of steaks those are either, to tell you the truth. There we go. I like my steaks not cooked all the way through, like medium. So we'll leave these on here like eight to 10 minutes and then we'll check them and maybe flip them. Don't drink the hose. Why not? Listen to him, he's a goofball. Don't listen to him, he's a goofball. So, there we go, cooking. And the potatoes, let's turn those around again too. Turning the potatoes around. And it gets hot enough. I don't know if you guys, we got, well, there we go, they're all turned. No, no, we don't need to put them on top. But we got this, where'd we get this? From Tractor Supply. Oh, uh, family, farm, family, family Farm, farm and home. home store. We got this. And it's nice because this handle doesn't get hot. You could touch the handle. And these grates, they don't get yeah, okay. hot either. And then, yeah, it's adjustable. It can go up or down, the cooking grate. And it just swings on here. So it's kind of cool. All right, we'll be back when we flip them. Yep, flip them over. It smells pretty good. Oh, those look good. Couple more minutes and we're gonna be eating. All right, there you go. That took 10 minutes maybe on the fire. And they're, they're not burnt. Probably because I didn't cook them. About eight minutes. About eight minutes, yeah, about eight minutes. Okay, well. All right, well, we're gonna go eat these. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and come back for more. And I'll see you next time, bye.